the life and sad ending of Jan Clayton. Jan Clayton, born August 26, 1917, in Alamogordo, New Mexico. The only child of two school teachers, Clayton started singing by age four. In the early 1940s, Clayton was a Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer starlet, appearing in several films, none of them particularly notable, except for an unbilled role in the 1948 as a singing inmate in the snake pit. She appeared in the role of Julie Jordan in the original 1945 Broadway production of Rodgers and Hammerstein's classic Carousel. Clayton can be heard on the original cast recordings of both Carousel, 1945, and the 1946 Broadway revival of Kern's 1927 musical play Showboat. In May 1954, Clayton guest starred in ABC's sitcom Where's Raymond, starring Ray Bolger as a song and dance man, Raymond Wallace. She played Francine Tremont, an actress and wife of a banker. In the storyline, Francine is in town to make a special appearance with Bulger. In 1954, Clayton was one of the many guest stars in a television spectacular tribute to Rodgers and Hammerstein's The General Foods 25th Anniversary Show, which featured all the then-surviving stars of all the classic Broadway musicals that the team had written from 1943 to 1954. Clayton and John Raitt, in full makeup and costume, performed If I Loved You, also known as the bench scene from Carousel. Clayton during this period also played herself in an appearance on Peter Lawford's short-lived NBC sitcom Dear Phoebe. While starring in Showboat, Clayton met Robert Lerner, an heir to the women's clothing shops bearing his name. They were married and moved to California, where Lerner attended Loyola Law School and Clayton concentrated on mothering. Clayton would become best known to TV audiences as the mother of Jeff Miller, Tommy Reddick, on the television series Lassie. Clayton played the first four seasons of Lassie from September 1954 to December 1957 as Ellen Miller, a war widow living on her father-in-law's farm with her preteen son Jeff, and her late husband's cantankerous old father, Gramps. Clayton brought her extensive acting experience on Broadway to the Lassie series, portraying in her character Ellen the traits of a loving mother with a wide range of heartfelt emotions, ranging from sorrow and tragedy to great comedic relief. There were only a few times in Lassie when Clayton exhibited her impressive singing talents. Despite Lassie doing well with TV audiences, Tommy Reddick sought release from his contract in the popular series' fourth season. Clayton quit the production as well at that time. The sudden death of George Cleveland hastened the departure of the remaining cast. Clayton appeared in only one more Lassie episode after those changes. In the episode Timmy's Family, broadcast originally in December 1957, she guest starred in a supporting role to Lassie's new family. Following her departure from Lassie, Clayton starred in 1959 TV pilot called The Jan Clayton Show, a sitcom in which she portrayed a college English teacher. She produced and starred in the next year in The Brown Horse, another proposed series about a woman trying to pay for her daughter's college tuition by working in a San Francisco restaurant. Then, in 1961, she again starred in a comedy pilot based on Bess Streeter Aldrich's book, Cheers for Miss Bishop. Clayton also performed in the 1961 episode, The Prairie Story, on NBC's Wagon Train. In the 1962 episode, St. Louis Woman, on NBC's The Tall Man, Clayton performed in the role of Janet Harper, a widow engaged to Tom Davis, Canadian-born Russ Conway, a friend of Sheriff Pat Garrett, Barry Sullivan. In, quote, The Man Who Wouldn't Die, a 1967 episode of the syndicated series Death Valley Days, Clayton was cast as Margaret Wilberger, the sister of a Texas pioneer, Josiah Wilberger, who lived for 11 years after being scalped by the Comanche. With her personal life, Clayton's first husband was a Western actor, Russell Hayden. The couple married in 1938 and had one daughter, Sandra Jane Hayden, who was born in 1940 but died at the age of 16. 
Clayton divorced Russell Hayden in 1943. Three years later, she married Robert Lerner, an attorney and brother of famed Broadway lyricist Alan J. Lerner. Their marriage, which ended in 1958, produced two daughters and a son, Robin, born in 1948, Karen, born in 1949, and Joe, born in 1950. Clayton married for a third and final time in 1966 to a pianist and film television composer, George Greeley. In the 1970s, Clayton began receiving treatment for her alcoholism. Sadly, Jan Clayton died of cancer in West Hollywood, California on August 28, 1983, just two days after her 66th birthday. Her ashes are buried next to the gravesite of her father at Fairview Cemetery in Tolerosa, New Mexico. Clayton was posthumously inducted into the New Mexico Entertainment Hall of Fame in 2012.